Hey everybody, welcome back for another Adobe Muse tutorial brought to you by GraphicDesignerTips.com. My name is Steve Looney and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you exactly how to create links in Adobe Muse CC. Uh, it's actually very simple to create links and uh, this is an inner page of a client designed website and on the page there is a thumbnail you can see that says click to download. Uh, right now it isn't linked to anything so I'm going to show you how to do this uh, and you're going to be able to do the same thing with text or if you put a uh, any kind of a link uh, or an email address so basically what you need to do is you need to click on the object and right up here you're going to see an area that says hyperlinks and then there's additional options in here so what you're going to first do is you're going to come into your hyperlinks and you want to determine is this going to open up in a new window or is it going to open up uh, you know in in place of what you have is it going to replace the web page you're on um, I like to a lot of times uh, especially if I'm being uh, redirected away from a website I like to have this link open up in a new window uh, this is just a file that's going to be downloaded so you really don't need to worry about this but it's it's all a part of these options here um, in talking about text links all right there's the default link style we all know of and if we go into edit link styles it's basically this we have the normal it's always blue hover the same blue visited is always purple and active means red is red so what you can actually do in here is um, we can change these right now um, you know say we do a green and say we do a red for hovering just mess around and we're now gonna hit new link style it's gonna create copy one we're gonna hit OK I'll come back to that in a second um, but for this one with the file what you want to do is you want to click again on this and come up to the drop down this time and it's going to give you a number of options it's going to uh, show you first use links that you have used already in this actual project recently used links um, uh, right here is going to be links of the actual pages so if I just want to link this straight to the about us page I could do that very simply and um, the last one is going to be file. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit link to file. We're actually going to click that. It's going to pull up. And here is the file that I need to link to. I'm going to hit open. And I'm now going to just test this out real quick. Actually, before I test this out, let's 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 do a text link. Uh, basically, I'm going to I'm going to hover over here real quick. Now the hyperlinks moved over here. I am going to go to uh, open the link in a new window or tab and I'm gonna have it go to my website oh, no, don't even type that in there excuse me um, I'm gonna change the link style to that copy one that we made and then I'm gonna come into here and I'm gonna hit, hit add or filter links and I'm just gonna type in my website and I'm gonna hit OK and it creates the HTTP and everything you just gotta type in you know the dot com address and the Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to File and Preview Page in Browser and see what happens. Okay, so now we have this page in an actual browser. Um, and if I click this, it's going. you're going to see it actually just started to download. And if I jump onto my desktop, which is somewhere over here, here's the PDF for your viewing. So that's pretty cool. That worked. All right, so the next thing is if we come back into this, you see how well I did I, I this I, I changed this to purple well actually I must have clicked on it because now it's purple uh, but if I roll over it it does that that link uh, that li link change color so which is pretty cool and if I click it it's gonna open up a new tab with my personal website on it which is what I specified um, coming to Adobe Muse for one more thing um, if you're doing an email address basically all you need to do is um, for instance uh, say you're linking an email address to this word annual you're just gonna come in here and you're gonna type out the email address I'm gonna type out mine and you're just gonna hit OK and if you notice come back right up here it's gonna say mail to it automatically knows it's an email address and so now that link will open up when you click it in a browser to um, an email with the sender being the email you specify in there so that's very simple links 101 um let me know in the comments if you have any questions uh if you like the video definitely like it and share it out on your social networks 
Uh, also, hit the subscribe button to subscribe with uh, these videos every time they come out so you'll get them before anybody else does. And I will see you for the next video uh, in the Adobe Muse series shortly. Have a great night, everybody. Peace.